I always had a pretty knack to do PhD when I was in IIT Kharagpur. I started working as a spooler. That means in English word is a dishwasher. But the funny thing is, I have a lot of technical knowledge, but I am not very fluent in German. That's why now I'm facing facing hurdles, and that struggle is quite difficult because I am doing it. Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I have Shubhan with me. He, he was a candidate here in Germany. He came for his master's degree and he did his master's degree in renewable energy. So today we will be discussing about the details of uh, how you can apply for a master's in renewable energy and also the career prospects after completing your master's degree in renewable energy. Before I start the video, if you are new to my channel and you are watching this video for the first time, my name is Kostov Banerjee and I stay here in Germany. I have been here for more than three and a half years now, almost four years. And on this channel, I usually make videos on study in Germany, work in Germany and life in Germany related topics. I am sure most of these videos would be of help to you. I post videos almost every week. So do subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to miss out on really, really vital information about Germany. Shubhan, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much. Shubhan was also my junior in my school. After I came to Berlin, we got in touch and we connected. And uh, I got to know that he also completed his master's in Germany. This was a really good opportunity to know his experience. He also uh, secured a part-time job here in Germany, a very important aspect after you come to Germany. So we'll get to know everything from him today. Let's start with Shubhan's introduction. Uh, Shubhan, just in, just give a very basic introduction like before coming to Germany, what was your profile and where you completed your bachelor's degree? Just give us a brief introduction okay. about that. Okay. So hello all. Uh, so myself, Shubhan Chakraborty. I'm from Kolkata. I have done my B.Tech from NCKB Institute of Engineering, which is in Ilua. And then I have done my master's from IIT Kharagpur. So after completing my master's from IIT Kharagpur, I have uh, worked with Blue Star Limited in Mumbai as an assistant manager uh, in the research and development section of uh, Blue Star Limited. And I have worked there for uh, almost four years there. And then I have left my job and I have came to Germany for my second master's which I have completed and right now I am looking for jobs. So that's my overall background. So when you decided to go for uh, masters in renewable energy in Germany, what was the process that you followed? Uh, what was the first process like uh, how you selected, how you got to know about the courses, the modules, the universities and what was the approach that you followed? I always had a very knack to do PhD when I was in IIT Kharagpur doing my master, first master's, but uh, somehow it didn't click. After I got a placement from IIT Kharagpur into Blue Star and I was working there, somewhere down the line I was uh, not very happy and I wanted to pursue further studies. I didn't go to Dart website because there was a hell lot of com uh, competition. Okay. The basic requirement that was IELTS. IELTS. Okay. Uh, like you gave your IELTS, IELTS. IELTS exam. Okay. I gave my IELTS Did you need exam? to give your uh, GRE exam? No, I didn't. Okay. You don't need but, a GRE But exam. in Germany, there are few top-notch universities. That like uh, GRE exam? Yes. Okay. They they ask for GRE exam score okay. like RWT, Chakhen, okay. TU, Munich. TU Munich. So I have jotted down the which universities in Germany are providing this university uh, specifically in English. Okay. I'm not a German person okay. and German language is very difficult to learn and to speak. So you were only trying to go into English, English speaking course? Yeah, English speaking courses. So there were very few during the time when I applied, but nowadays there are a lot many. 
I check their websites, I check requirements. courses, requirements. You need an IELTS score which is more than 7. At least 6.5 and above. At least 6.5 and above for English speaking courses. Yes. Is there a specific GPA which is required like from your bachelor's degree uh, or your previous uh, courses? At least 70%. 70, 70%. Uh, I had two rounds of interviews. The first one was you have a like master degree from one of the most premium institute of it. Why do you want to come to Germany and study another master's? So then you have to like jot down your points. You have to face your like this kind of interviews and you have to be smart enough to why you want to do a second master. yeah why you want to that's the main thing why do you want to why do you want to second master because there are like thousand applicants behind you correct who also want to do the same absolutely i completely agree so this is a very vital point if you already have a master's degree as he mentioned this is a very vital point there may be a question why do you want to do a second master and this is also a vital point for your statement of purpose or your motivation yes, letter definitely. where you have to write down why you want to do a second master because you already have a master. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Let's discuss something about the course, the coursework and the modules. So, Shuan, give, give us a small, uh, like a very small gist about the course that you did during your master. For my university, like each semester has six subjects. Okay. Uh, so it boils down to like uh, three semester, eighteen subjects. Eighteen subjects. Eighteen okay. subjects. Okay. Credit points of five around ECTS. 90, 90 credits. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and then thirty credits for thesis. For thesis. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. If you like want to come to Germany to study renewable energy, so first and foremost is uh, thermodynamics. Second is heat and mass transfer and uh, third is uh, project management so after you came to germany obviously you came as a student and you definitely needed a part-time job right so the thing is when i came to germany i was like a bit familiar with uh, german language a1 so this language is very hard it's not that easy the first thing is uh, i got an accommodation uh, into a like uh, Punjabi family they had a restaurant downstairs I, I used to live upstairs into a shared apartment I was uh, jobless I started working as a spooler that means in English word is a dishwasher okay I wanted to share this story Shubhan's story with all of you and Shubhan also wanted to share his story just to give you an a idea that uh, all odd jobs in Germany are not easy. So, Shuban, can you just briefly yeah, so, describe uh, your daily work? Yeah, like? yes. When uh, I started working as a part time, I wished to work as a spooler, like a dishwasher in a like a five star restaurant. So, in the beginning, uh, it was fine, but then it uh, like the load was used to like uh, gain up. So, they used to have. Uh, they used to hold uh, marriages and like uh, reception events, and stuff like variety events. Of yes, events. variety of events. I used to get up at 6.30, latest by 7 in the morning. My class used to start at 8 in the morning. It used to get ends around 4.30 or 4.45 in the evening. I, after that, I used to come to my like room. I used to change uh, like get dressed up i had to take my bicycle and get you uh, like get to my work and it is to start from six till the end and that end is like that till what time you have the customer in your like restaurant okay Came there on. was no there's no time. end time as long as there is customers he has to work uh, i used to get around 10 euro per hour 700 and like uh, 46 45 euro every month okay now moving on to the next question so he studied shuan studied renewable energy masters in renewable energy and he has already completed his course as he said earlier and he's he has started searching for jobs so we will get a very brief idea about the type of jobs that he is applying to so shuan can you first of all since my my btech my bachelor's is in mechanical engineering uh, that's my first and foremost option 
Second thing is I worked as an FEA engineer like finite element analysis engineer or simulation engineer. So that's my second preference. And my third preference is energy engineer. Two things are very prominent that is wind energy and solar energy. I am like looking for this kind of jobs and I am applying to them. Okay. And let's see. I think we have got a very good idea about renewable energy, masters in renewable energy. I would just like to ask one last question to Shuban. So you have been in Germany for more than two years, right? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. So what is your experience in Germany? Like after coming from India to Germany, are you uh, satisfied with the with the transition in, tra in terms of standard of living, in terms of uh, adjusting to the new environment and the facilities, benefits that you get in Germany and the, also the income and everything. Overall, holistic uh, overview, overview of, holistic. of your uh, experience here in Germany. Just a very small. To all the people who are watching this, I would break down this thing into different parts. So the first and foremost, Whoever is uh, like willing to pursue masters and higher studies from abroad. First thing is if you or your family can support you and if you have the capability go to US and study your masters. Second thing let me tell you one thing if you are coming from like code engineering background like mechanical, electrical, civil, medicine and law like code engineering medicine and law if you are if you have this kind of backgrounds and if you are coming to germany to pursue a career and have a good life here i would suggest you rather i would force you to learn like if you have that perspective of coming here and settling down here and have a like a job and good career life and everything i would force you to learn german at least till b1 to b2 if you have that zeal in your life to like uh, come here and do something, at least be fluent in German. It doesn't matter how much technical knowledge you have. What matters in German is how fluent you are in German language. Once you know the language, once you become a native speaker, you are the king here. That's the gist, I think. That's, that's the thing I tell everybody. So if you are not from an IT background or a uh, software engineering background, I think he made it very clear. Any other field, you have to know German. Yeah, because what I tell you, like if you are not from IT or computer science background, who is looking for a, like a job or settlement in Germany, forget it. Apart from these domains, if you are coming to Germany and you want to settle down here, first before coming to Germany, get hold of the language because the funny thing is i have a lot of technical knowledge but i am not very fluent in german that's why now i'm facing facing hurdles while getting like a interview call from these companies that that's is a, a very, fact that is a very valid that point. is fact if you do then you are the when you land here you are the king if you don't then exactly. you have to like uh, struggle a lot <laughs> and that struggle is quite difficult because I am doing it. So, thank you, Shuvan. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very uh, much, Kosova. I am sure this will help many of you, especially for people who are in the mechanical engineering background. Or, uh, or code, like or, yeah, electrical any, and any civil. Core, any, core any core engineering. engineering. Exactly. You got to learn the language before coming here. Like that will give you a lot of good opportunities and lo a lot less struggle. Lot less struggle. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.